Hello everybody, I'm Gary Mossa with Mossa & Associates and welcome to the COVID's over so now what edition of Tips Tuesday. Hello and thank you for coming back and joining me today for this very special edition of Tips Tuesday. Now I don't know about you but I've been waiting for about a year and a half for COVID to be officially over. And as of next week, on June 15th, California is removing the tier system and business is supposed to be going back to normal. And what does that mean to real estate? For anybody buying or selling a home, you should stay tuned. So let's talk about two things, how showings are gonna work and how, um, and how open houses are gonna work. So let's first start with open houses. Are there any restrictions? No, except for one. So basically, are there any limitations on the number of people you can have in an open house? Not anymore, okay? You don't have to clean in between each showing uh, or each guest that's coming into the house. There's no uh, PED forms that you have to sign, like the release of liability forms. Um, there's no, um, uh, no posted rules of entry. Uh, basically, we can go back to doing open houses as normal with the only exception of Everybody inside needs to wear a mask. Apparently, if not everybody is vaccinated, then uh, then you have to, inside of a home, then everybody does have to wear a mask. So we're just gonna make sure everybody wears masks. But outside of that, open houses are going back to normal. So if you're out shopping for a home and wanna stop by an open house and you start seeing the signs, feel free to go by. You don't have to sign a PED form. You may still need to register, but it's not required by the CDC anymore. Okay, now let's talk about if you're going out to see properties with your real estate agent over the weekends or whenever you're out seeing properties, if everybody is fully vaccinated, you can be in the house without a mask, okay? Um, if, there's some, if there's one person that doesn't have vaccination, everyone is supposed to be still wearing a mask, but it also goes back down to what the seller requests. The seller can still request that everybody wear a mask. The seller can still request that you use hand sanitizer or gloves. The seller can also still require that only vaccinated people or people that show a negative COVID test result, but they have to put that in writing up front. It's not discrimination, it is their own choice because it's their home, so we still have to respect that obviously, but on a, on a you know more open basis, it's not required by the CDC, so we as agents don't have to mandate or require that people wear masks if everybody is vaccinated. So I hope that all makes sense. It's kind of exciting news, more steps in the right direction to getting back to normal, whatever that's gonna mean into the future. But again, if you have any other questions, what it means uh, to be a buyer or seller during, you know, after June 15th and the, the COVID restrictions lifting, please let me know. We got plenty of literature here provided by CAR. Um, leave your comments below or give me a call directly. Talk to you soon.